Hi children, welcome to science class. In today's class, we learnt about parts of a plant. In today's class, also we are going to learn some more parts of plants. Okay? Are you ready to learn? Good. Look here, children. What are these? Here I have collected different uh, different types of leaves. Uh, so you two must have some types of leaves with you okay on basing tap roots and fibrous roots i have collected some parts uh, some leaves so can you identify this leaf what is this leaf beetle leaf okay beetle leaf tamil paku we call it okay so some sort of plants leaves i have collected i got one tree leaf also uh, pomegranate and this is grass which is paddy okay and this is maize this is maize corn okay uh, now tell me yesterday as we discussed about tap roots and uh, fibrous roots what are cotyledons and monocots digots these are all we discussed in you know? do you practice of them or not did you understand about them did you understand all the monocots are having fibrous roots cluster of roots okay and all the dicotyledons will have what type of roots tap roots okay look here when you observe leaves you might have find some same features what are they see when we look at this leaf there is some lines looking like lines yes or no some stripes are there lines are there some patterns are seen and on this leaf also even on this leaf also yes or no some patterns are there not about designs i'm talking see the uh, some some lines are seen on the leaf body of the leaf yes or no here isn't it here deeply how to see if you have any lens both of them untang kada if you have that lens you can watch with that also see look here here that lines are seen as straight and on this also this is to be open yes okay okay now wh what did you understand tell me so leaves will have a common type of patterns okay so let us divide again parts of leaf today about what we are going to learn about leaf in that parts of leaf parts of leaf okay to know about the parts of leaf we have to keenly observe the pattern of leaf so as you have seen here see on this leaf here uh, this stem this stem will be attached to the plant right so that is called leaf base because leaf will be attached to the plant stem so that is called leaf base okay and this is called this stem support is called petiole what is this petiole and see you can see here the main vein these are all called as veins what are they ma veins and this is main vein so it is also called as mid rib what is this mid rib okay and these are all veins for your better understanding i have drawn a picture for you i have differentiated with the colors so look here the green color the entire green color and the body of the leaf is called as lamina the total surface of the leaf is called as lamina the entire greenery part along with the leaf pattern is called as lamina okay nana which is in green in color of course some leaves are in different colors maybe red or yellow or pink whatever next what is this i told you the main vein is mid rib 
okay these are all veins and this is the stem support is called as petiole also called stalk generally of course it is scientific name petiole we call simply stalks okay and it is leaf base did you understand okay nana the blue color lines are veins the blue color lines are veins and the granary part is lamina what is that lamina if you have lens you can observe the uh, tiny particles or the tiny molecules of leaf that means the cells of leaf here in your textbook you have an activity children so that you have to finish are all leaves the same for that what you have to find are all the leaves same so to identify that what you have to do so you must collect different types of leaves okay so with the different types of leaves write the name of the plant whatever plant it is maybe coconut tree or mango tree or a uh, what is that chrysanthemum plant rose plant pomegranate plant or tree okay whatever it is you are having plants in your garden or outsides or outdoors or better which are knowing names at least one leaf means nothing will happen no so pluck only one leaf uh, don't pluck entire plant along with the roots okay that root system yesterday it is completed now so don't do that again just collect leaves and you have to write that name of the plant leaf base whether i mean does it have leaf base or not that means the le the leaf is having stem support or not that you have to write if it is yes write yes petiole does it have petiole or not that means stalks does it is it having petioles or not as yes sir no lamina is it having lamina or not as yes sir no and shape of the leaf what is the shape of the leaf you see some grass like plants are having like a straw as yes sir no that's why the grass is also called as straw because it's look like straw so what is the shape of that maybe some leaves may have round shape some may have different kinds of shapes right mango leaf uh, is longer heads that means uh, it appears as long so on basing that you have to write the shape of leaf on seeing that you can write and edges of the leaf does the leaf having edges or not okay that also you have to write can you feel this nana as we discussed see some thin like structures are spread over the leaf right <clears throat> so the leaf usually i mean the leaf lamina usually consists of midrib veins and veinlets these uh, thin like structures are called veinlets okay nana veinlets arranged in the form of a network see it is a it is looking like a network no so to understand this venation you have to do an act with him so hold a leaf in your hand and put this leaf uh, look here children the leaf is having small veinlets also yes sir no so this one we have to uh, we call this as venation or venation okay to understand this well we have to do an activity ma so hold a leaf in your hand uh, i'm taking a small leaf so take a leaf and put it on your white sheet of paper and fold uh, keep another white paper on that like this cover it okay now take a pencil now hold the pencil like this and strap the leaf fix the book to the plank or as i have covered one with one book you can keep like this okay draw like this. what are you observing are you getting any point or not i'm not drawing i'm just tracing the leaf yes sir no Uh, so now you can observe clearly what are seen in this drawing or in this sketch the veins of leaf yes sir no are you doing or not you also try it so now you can find veins on that this is called midrib the main vein these are veinlets okay so you can uh, see the structure of vein like that that means the vein structure we can see you didn't get try two three times because uh, when i tried first time i got like that 
again like this so if you try two three times you can get the perfection so this impression is showing the uh, showing the pattern of leaf and pattern of venation how the veins are spreaded over the leaf lamina that is showing we discuss two kinds of leaves some some leaves will have the parallel like structures and some may have the group of or the venation more venation we can see on the pattern of leaf okay however these are called these are classified into two categories one is called reticulate venation reticulate say reticulate venation this kind of venation is called as reticulate venation and this is called parallel venation what is this ma parallel venation okay children this is reticulate venation sorry this is parallel venation and these are reticulate venation okay nana you might have some idea now tell me what is reticulate venation if the veins are spreaded parallel like this vertically they are they, they are called parallel venation okay if the veins are spreaded over all the leaf that is called reticulate venation so by collecting some leaves you are uh, doing this activity no so for that also table 4 is given so in the table 4 you have to fill that name of the plant you should write and venation whether it is reticulate venation or parallel venation by observing the leaf you can identify that so collect four or five leaves and you have to write that now okay next children stomata how to observe stomata so not tomato okay stomata another part of leaf so to understand this take a fleshy leaf and peel the outer layer peel the outer layer outer layer of the leaf and place it on a slide on a slide we have to place it put a drop of water or glycerin on it and observe it under a microscope under microscope we have to observe that slide so we will find that a bean shaped part what is that bean shaped part on that slide so if you have observed that that bean shaped part that you see in that leaf acts like our nose how our nose works to inhale and exhale air so for that purpose this helpful okay so the bean shaped part of part that you see in the leaf acts like our nose these are called stomata these are called stomata so they are useful in the exchange of gases between the plant and atmosphere plants absorb oxygen oxygen no carbon dioxide and releases oxygen for us so the exchange of gases which one is doing this work stomata so what is the function of stomata function means duty duty of stomata exchange of gases next topic transpiration what is that ma transpiration what is transpiration to know this uh, have you ever observed that plants or leaves sometimes we see some dew drops on the leaves yes or no have you seen any time not only in rainy time or in the uh, in winter season but mostly we can see some dew drops on the leaves how does leaves are getting this water so that process only this transpiration okay before learning this definition let us do an activity so how transpiration taking place in plants for that take a small plant and cover it with a polythene bag okay and tie its mouth here you have to tie it uh, give it name as plant a now take another pot without plant and cover that also with a polythene bag and give its name b and observe the time after few hours you might have seen some droplets on the cover on the polythene bag a or on plant a on b we will not find any drops any water droplets so from this we can conclude that leaves give out water vapor leaves give out water vapor so due to condensation of water vapors tiny drops of water 
get collected inside the polythene bag A. This experiment shows us that plants give out water to the atmosphere through the process of transpiration. With this transpiration only, the water and the minerals is transported to the leaves and excess of water is released to the atmosphere. And leaves also undergo with the process photosynthesis, the food preparation process. Leaves, what is preparation, uh, which is preparing food, do you know? The leaf. So, leaf is the food factory of a plant. What is the food factory of a plant? Leaf. So, this leaf prepares food for the plant. This leaf prepares food for the plant. So, through the process of photosynthesis, about photosynthesis in further classes you will learn. So, let us conclude the functions of leaf. What is the functions of leaf? Leaf helps in respiration. Leaf helps in respiration and it is carry out transpiration. How does it is helping in respiration? Because by absorbing or the, with the exchange of gases. Yes or no? Yes. So, that is respiration process. Taking carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. And carrying out transpiration process. The excess of water molecules releasing to the atmosphere. And also, leaf prepares food by the process of photosynthesis. These are the duties or the functions of leaf. So, once again, we will conclude the parts of a plant. So, generally, plants have roots, stem, leaves and flowers okay some plants bear fruits and all parts of the plants carry out some functions essential for the whole plant all the parts of plants are working together and and they are very essential for the entire plant and there are diverse from the i mean there are the diverse forms of plant in nature and plant adapt themselves to the different conditions in the nature Okay, in all conditions they won't work in a same way. They have different works in different climatic conditions. For example, while, while stems usually support the plant body, in some plants they adopt and store food. As we discussed in yesterday's class, they store food. So different plants they undergo with the different works. Okay, Nana? And flowers also playing an important role. Uh, they are the beauty of the nature. We grow plants for the beautiful nature. As I know, like uh, rose plant, uh, different types of plants. Why do we grow them? For their flowers. Because flowers is the uh, flowers are the beauty of the nature. And also, some flowers they undergo with the pollination to develop the to develop its rays and to improve the plants. So these are very essential. Okay, Nana. So, from this lesson, we all these things we have discussed. And one more thing about Potikalu, it is given here in your textbook. Uh, actually, it is a traditional food of Konasim of Godavari districts. I think maybe nearby Amlapuram. If you have any relatives by that side, maybe that people may, knew, uh, may know about this. So, what the people will do, you know, the leaves of the jackfruit tree are used in its preparation. That means jackfruit leaves, do you know? They have big leaves, you know. So, by using that leaves, they make up cups. They make some cups. Okay, with that cups, what they do, how we prepare it leaves like that, the batter, the batter of the black gram. So, with that, uh, by adding some rubber to that, they put that in the leaves or in the cups, which are prepared by the jackfruit leaves. And they are steamed like our idlis and they are called as potikalu. They are called as Poticalu. They can be taken with any chutney like our edli only and they are healthy and delicious with jackfruit flavor. Okay. If you have relatives that said, uh, you can taste it. Otherwise, ask your parents or request your parents to prepare that and enjoy that delicious, delicious food also. Okay, Nana. This is about our parts of plants and knowing about plants. You to observe different types of plants in your surroundings and learn more things about them. Okay? Thank you.